Tracy, how do you begin to unpack, unpack a game that's as uh, eventful as that one? Yeah, so a lot went it, a lot went on. Um, you know, we, I was disappointed with the first half, although you know we we started really well. Um, we had quite a few opportunities. Um, I just felt that we didn't play anywhere near the tempo, the quality that we have done in previous games, and probably for the first time I was really disappointed going in at half time. Um, I felt you know there's an opportunity here tonight. I thought if we did things right and we moved the ball right when we when we picked picked the ball off them, then you know we could create goals and and um, and win the game. But we made it very difficult for ourselves and, and credit to Blythe. Um, you know they're fighting for their lives and you know they're brave. They try, you know they try and try and play out and play through and um, and move move the ball. And that's not easy when you're in the position that they are. Um, but I think the second half was, was much better. Um, we started off really well. You know, we had a couple of really good chances, Cows and Cows and Connor. Um, and then when, you know, then when we had to change things with, with Tommy coming up, Tommy coming off, and, and then going down to ten men, I thought we showed great character um, and see a game through. And I think character again is the, is the word because Southport, you know, you, you come out off the Southport game and you're absolutely devastated, you can't understand how you haven't won that game. Um, and then you wonder what the action is going to be travelling all the way to Blythe. First half not great, second half much better, massive three points, great for the, for the fans who, who followed us, you know, uh, <laughs> for them to come up on a Tuesday night, every credit to them. Um, we give them something to smile about and the fans at home, we were looking, you know, that they'll be buzzing with that result. and. Uh, Hopefully that goes a little bit uh, towards the disappointment on, on Saturday. Yeah, the away record at the moment is quite good, isn't it? Unbeaten in six in the league away from home. Um, you know, to start off with, we were winning at home and, and dropping probably more points than you'd like to away from home. And now it's switched a bit and we're beginning to, to really pick up away from home. Yeah, um, <laughs> our actual, actual way we've played away from home has been... You know, hasn't been bad, and I think I've said that all the way through. I'm not, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't worried about how we were performing, and didn't think we had to change too much. It was just that we, you know, we just weren't getting the results. Um, you know, now we're getting the results. We slipped up a couple of times at home, but our way form now is is one three, one three drawn three. Um, so, you know that, yeah, we're not allowing for slip ups because we don't want to make any slip ups because we, you know we're looking, we're looking up and we're trying to chase up up, up those those top positions. Um, but now we put ourselves in a good position. You know, a few games ago, you know, if you said, right, you'll be level with Chester, four points behind Scarborough, five points behind Brackley, um, you'd say, well, you'll have to do something, you know, pretty special to get in that position. Uh, probably going to be more towards the end of the season, but we are in that position now, and that's that's important that we drag those, you know, drag those. In. Uh, those teams into it. We go to Brackley, which will be a, you know, <laughs> probably one of the toughest places that you go in this league. Um, but you know, our waveform is really good, and I bet it needs to remain that because we've got another two two tough trips. And obviously, we had a new goalkeeper in tonight because of the injury to Matto. And Matt Gould signed uh, today on an emergency loan, and he did well, didn't he? Considering he hasn't played too much over the last six months. No, you know, he's called into action a couple of times in the first half. Um, did really well, come out, uh, decent, decent blocks, and uh, stood up, um, did well for us. His kicking was good, his organising was good. Um, yeah, thanks to to Altrincham for for letting us have him at, at, at the last minute. Um, and I thought thought he did really well. Um, take something to you know for for us not to you know not to miss Matty. Um, and I thought I thought Gordy come in and, and did really well, settled in really well. Yeah, you wouldn't have known that. You know, it was his first game, so yeah, really pleased with him. Um, pleased with you know how we defended at times as well. You know, we had to get blocks in, and we had to get behind the ball, and we had to be patient. Um, and and at the end, you know, you, you want a little bit of luck, and we probably got that little bit of luck that, that we haven't had in previous games. 